Hello, my name is Alan Owens, and I'm the GC and GCMS product manager here at Shimazu Scientific Instruments. In this video, I will show you how to perform an automated leak check on your GC2030. Before starting the leak check, verify that a septum, liner, O-ring, and column are properly installed. Then verify that the selected carrier gas, in this case helium, is being supplied with a pressure between 650 and 750 kilopascals to the automatic flow controller matching the SPL inlet being tested. If the GC is powered off, locate the power switch on the right side of the instrument and turn it on. If the GC is already powered on, use the main menu to select GC Start Stop Sequence. Press GC Stop Sequence. Make sure Flow Control is set to Off and Flow Off Time is set to more than 30 minutes. Wait for the full Flow Off Time before proceeding. Once the oven temperature has dropped below 40 degrees Celsius and the flow is zero, return to the main menu, select Function, Diagnosis, Carrier Gas Leak Check. Note, you may need to clear the previous test results by pressing Clear. Ensure all items in the column information window match the parameters of the column installed on the SPL being tested. Press Start to begin the automatic leak check. The oven should increase to 40 degrees Celsius, and after a few minutes, the check should be complete. If no leaks are detected, the screen will indicate that the test passed with no detectable leak. If a leak is detected, you should see an error message indicating the severity of the leak. You will also see instructions for verifying that all gas line connections are properly tightened. Following the successful leak check, you can restart the GC. Return to the home screen, select GC Start Stop Sequence, and begin the start sequence by pressing Start GC. Once the start sequence is complete, the GC is ready for use. For more information about the Shimazu GC2030, visit www.ssi.shimazu.com. Excellence in Science, Shimazu.